Changes in federal funding are fueling a boom in home solar, but the KSL investigators routinely get tips from folks worried that their solar projects are getting left behind. So when a Provo woman's wait for the finish of her panel install dragged down for months and months, she decided it was time to get Gephardt. So those are the panels they installed in September. Long before winter hit, Desiree Jensen had solar panels installed on the roof of her garage. But now she says the solar company keeps pushing the final inspection date back from October to November to December and now January. Until that inspection happens, those $44,000 panels, well, they just sit there, not creating any electricity. I don't like them just to look pretty on my roof. I want to get benefits from them. These aren't supposed to be roofing panels. <laughs> on top of that, a battery that Desiree ordered with the system still has not been delivered. And she already has to make payments on the solar system. That does not work. Plus, she says her calls and messages for help usually go unanswered. She compares it to buying a new car but not getting the keys. For her, it is high time to get Gephardt. I feel like once they got the solar panels and get, got their money from the bank, that they don't have, no, they have no incentive of finishing this. So this time we reached out to the solar company Renewable Resources on Desiree's behalf. The owner wouldn't talk to us about this on camera, but by phone he told us that they've had trouble keeping up with demand. And he admitted that sometimes their contracted salespeople can get a little ahead of themselves with their promises. But he promised that he does everything he can to make every mistake right. I'm paying the city for electric still. It's very frustrating. And just like that, some good news for Desiree. She was reimbursed for two payments she made. That missing battery was finally installed along with some underground wiring to the meter. And the final inspection that's going to get these panels finally up and running. The owner says that is scheduled now for next Tuesday. Renew Renewable Resources says demand for solar is up after Congress upped the federal solar credit. If you got a problem you can't solve, give me a shot at it. The number 385-707-6153, or you can email me, matt at ksl.com.